yeah we're gonna hop into another game a fable anniversary and i'm gonna figure out what works but at least i don't have to worry about that crashing uh yeah i would love to go to a kirby cafe the fuck i wouldn't say no to that My ass is trying to figure out how this shit gonna work for Fable. Ooh. Ooh, keyboard. Chicken chaser. Oh yeah, it can't be here. I check. Hero tree? What's this? What's that? I have no other buttons to hit. Give me like a chicken chaser. Deep in the forest of Albion, lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. As, all, as we all do. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up! Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you You're haven't given like her a birthday mother. present yet. Don't find tell me you've got to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh. I was trying to talk to them. Let me hear some good reports about your behavior. Okay, so tab is the one I go ahead. Oh. If you get dizzy easily, oh my bad. Tab is to talk with the kids. I lost Rosie! I left her and I can't remember where! Her stuffing needs changing today and I can't find her! Please help! Please help a poor sufferable child. She's a lovely little furry bear with a blue patch on her back. I don't look like a bag, it looks like a... It's going to be an early morning for me. I've got to go to Bowerstone tomorrow. Oh, Bowerstone. I can't talk to her. Stop available! He look evil too. Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. And give me like an eye. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister and it's her birthday. Yeah. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. Yeah, I feel like someone snitch on you. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. 
guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. Three gold pieces? Maybe later, but hurry before I eat them myself. Why would you eat them up? Remember, three gold coins, that's all they cost. That's suspicious. My nephew is visiting from Not Whole Glade next week. He's about your oh, age too. Your sister's up nice for her birthday. Birthday. You're always in a hurry, lad. Uh, what about this dude? Did I talk to him? No. Honestly. I talk to her. Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? Ma'am, how did she get your hair that way? Like the pings. I get it, but is it left up? <laughs> With some woman, I don't doubt. You got instinct. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. Yeah. If you find him, let me know, won't you? Uh, yeah. Honestly. Where's that good-for-nothing husband of mine? Where's that good-for-nothing husband? Oh! Oh, thank goodness! Listen, lad, could you do me a favour? Sure. I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. That's nice. Quick! While he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. A cuddy chicka food. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing oh, girl. Which I am. Come on, let's go and break stuff. Nah, bro, I'm just good. gonna stand there like a lemon. Yes, I will. But being good is so boring. But if I go ahead and you prefer smash to be these barrels, things? guess what? I'm going to Come on! It's your time energy. before he gets back! No. Oh, you're no fun at all. I mean, I am fun. Like, you're, you look younger than me and you're up to no good. Fine! Have your stupid good deed then! Thank you. But also, like, I'm lazy, so... Excellent, thanks lad. You've done me a big favour. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Hey, that's free money. Hey, yo. Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Don't worry about it. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. You stupid little idiot. Get him. What do you want? I'm, I'm just dealing with this ass. brat. You deal with a brat, I deal with your ass. He was irritating me, playing with my sister and her stupid teddy bear. Now he won't give it to me, just because I said I'd rip his stupid head off. Oh? I told him, if he doesn't do what I say, I'm going to make his life a misery. Bro, you look like misery because of that fucking beanie ass cap. <coughs> what is this? <coughs> what is it? You're as bad as my crybaby little si- I want more pocket money next week. Have 
you clean my mum's car for me yet? Get him off me! Please help! He goes around the town beating up anyone smaller than him. Sound his ass. But you look strong. Oh. I was trying to knock his ass out. Eight. I want more pocket money next week. <laughs> no, do this. I'm hitting space. Why are you playing with play? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry! I'll leave you alone! Just speak to me again! Bro, we Thank got the set of Jesus. You stopped him good. Thank you. Here, I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. Hey. Ooh. Hey. Ooh, no, no, no. Yeah, give her the bear. You found Rosie. Thank you so much. Come on, Rosie. Let's change your stuffing. Mm, mm. Hey. Yes. Run along. We're busy. Busy. Oh, God. What? Uh, I, I was just, um, I'm, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Why does I look like that? I've never seen that woman in my life. Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? No. My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Sure. Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Nah, Just bro. don't tell my wife. I can't let her find out about it. Why not? Why not? Let's talk to her papa real quick. Hey, Brom. Brom? Well done, lad. Here's your reward for those good deeds. So, have you got enough money for a gift for Teresa? Don't worry about that, bro. Oh, I do. Come on, where's she at? You are not her, but I like your outfit. Go ahead, talk to the Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman, I don't doubt. Well, some woman I run doubt. his house. Bring up if you find him. Yes. You have? Right. I'm gonna turn him into bulverine food. Hell yeah. One step at a time. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. Wait till I get my hands on that pig! I didn't do it for good intentions. Oh, I thought the old kid was like him. Yo. Swine! I ought to chop them right off! Chuck them. We're not doing anything, honest! Don't insult me anymore! My mother was right about you! You tell Well, her. if you think tell I'm her. going to cook and clean for you while you're out having a good time with your stumpy, you've got another thing coming! Another thing Who is she way. anyway? Some chart from the village? <sighs> Younger than me, is she? We weren't doing it's anything, shame. honest! Yo, filthy swine! I ought to chop them right off! Say her. We weren't doing anything, honest! Oh. Don't insult me anymore! My mother was right Damn, about Damn, I thought you. she was gonna say more. Can I tell him? Well that? done, lad. Eat well. I think you may have enough. Oh, kill it. Wait, I just realized she never gave me a gold piece. No, because I've been really important. Many lovely things. Get Ooh, you're lucky I've still got these sweets. Quickly, give me three gold pieces. 
Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday for me now. Chocolates. I got chocolates and... Takes after his father. No, because, mind you, she's going to have this gold coin. Like, hey, chocolate and gold coin. You make the relatives happy. A little bit of money, a little bit of sweets. What the fuck? I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Sure. It's okay. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! <laughs> It's really happening. They're here. You've got to hide. The fuck am I gonna hide at? <laughs> Is that the mother? Got one. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their oh, path. Okay, let's handle up. We gave our sister chocolate. Blood red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy. Begging. And soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. Boy, yeah. We must leave. It's oh. not safe here. Hey, you know what he They're looks like? He looked like Urza. You don't want to join the gathering. Then give me your hand. Like it looked like Urza needed his like young brother. you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you Save want to fight. Energy, you might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. Thanks, bro. My name is Maze. And I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, 
You'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a so new so student grateful. for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now, but you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. <laughs> it's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. Like she, you I don't either know if you don't get moving. If she's older the guildmaster is waiting for us in the room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Hmm. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! The fuck is he? You've finally prized yourself from your pillow, I see. Yes. Obe, come on then. Not my choice. All right, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Now then, I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. So, space to target dummy. Use the moment's key to circle around target left button to attack. And to disengage, tap space. Not making much of an impact there, are you? Here, try with this. Ah, oh, he gave me a stick. Uh, press Q. That's an extra button. Ah, now that's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs, or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. Yeah. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. And get my ass I'll wait for you at the guild woods entrance while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. Oh, what are you boast about? F. Use the markers on the map. Gotcha. Ooh, can I pick that up? <gasps> Come on, bro. I have to hit the cap. Thanks. Guild, guild, guild. 
I gotta go ahead and test my fucking boomstick. Get your, bro, get your boomstick out. I only have 10 bucks to fucking destroy. You need to be on your A game. Let's give it a fall out. Ah. I was like, where the fuck are these bugs at? Yeah. Melee combat test. Uh, oh, I can't get into water yet. I really did try it. <laughs> Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. Mmm. Do you wish you left your childhood behind? I wish I had a dr like, I had the option to say that. Like, do I, am I ready to leave my childhood behind? Let me give a few more years. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind. But soon he had no thought other than training and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. But Finally, like all the other he games, was ready to become a guild like apprentice, just as May had yeah. foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Get out of bed, lazy bones. We were supposed to meet the Guildmaster on the other side of the river, but that was an hour ago. We better get going. Race you there. Girl. Hold the right button. Ha! Bro. So how is like, his hair is when he's running? I get to explore. That's what's gonna happen. Hey, you look like Teresa. If you haven't played this game, my bad. Where he at though? Oh, bro, you weren't there. You do see. You can put that old stick away. We'll begin training with real weapons now. Get used to the weight of this sword, and let's see if you can hit Whisper with it. Come on then, let's see what you've got, farm boy. Pay attention. What I'm about to teach you could well save your life doing. one day. The life of a hero is a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. Whisper will try to hit you, but you can block her attacks with your sword. Not all block? blows can be blocked, but you should be able to handle anything. Can I Whisper hit space to block? Oh, fuck. Press and hold. sister's progress, have you? You could say that. Whisper told me you've got a training with some fanboy. Maze thinks the boy has great potential. 
Enough to keep up with my whisper. Ha! <laughs> well, why don't we see? Whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. Melee. All right, children. Let's see who has learned the most in their training. This will be okay. a no-holds-barred duel, just like your final melee test. Prepare yourselves. That's all wrong, Whisper. You need to practice more. Oh, they gave her hazel Shame eyes. you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep you training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. We have few enough heroes as it is, without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. Speaking of which, meet me as I make my way to the archery range, when you're ready to continue your lessons. Now, oh, and about your melee performance. Excellent. Fight like that in your melee exam and you'll do well. Then meet me by the archery range to continue your training. Guild master. A powerful man. Uh, sure. Can I talk to Whisper? Nope. She's gonna look at me like... Are you ready for your archery training? Yeah. Let's Those continue our train training ever. with the bow. Hero. To begin with, see if you can hit the three stationary targets. And put some effort into it. The longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage you will cause. Like but make sure you stay oh, within the job. circle. Even she... Shit. Now, lock onto the target. You can fire it harder than that. Now, lock onto the target. Now, lock onto the target. I can't see shit. Now, lock onto the target. Well done! You hit all the targets. Unfortunately, most foes don't stand still. So let's see how you fare against moving targets. You have a minute to score as many points as you can. The front target is worth one point, the middle one is worth three, and the one at the back will score you nine points. And remember, the longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage the shot will cause. More damage means more points, but you have to balance power, firing rate, and accuracy. Let's see what you can do. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, watch me fail. Son of a bitch. Uh. Oh, guild master! Lovely. Can I switch over to... Oh, 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 oh. Nice aiming. That was some good aim. Um, I'm Next, continue. we will learn about the ways of the will. Speak to me when you're ready to continue with your training. I'll be heading to the island by the waterfall. We gotta follow this man. Any princes want to practice melee combat? Melee practice? Okay. Alright. I can go back to practice it. For now, I guess. There's just the will left to learn. It's time to learn about will powers. We'll begin by striking these strong dummies with lightning. Alright. Let's see what you've got. Left shit. And then... Oh. Ooh. That's it. 
See how many you can hit in half a minute. Only attack dummies that are facing the center of the island. You won't get any points for hitting one on the back. You will only waste valuable mana. Using your willpowers depletes your mana, and once used, it takes time to replenish. Um, uh, it's like I had hit, but anyhow. <gasps> this. Ooh. I don't want to shoot him. Uh -huh. Excellent use of magic. I'm supposed to be a well dead guy done. over here. Not a bad guy. Maybe I am. Very good, lad. Maybe I am. You have learned the three hero disciplines. Strength. We can now Stress. move on to your oh, final well. test if you're ready. Or you can spend some more time exploring the guild. No. I believe Whisper is about to go into the guild woods if you wish to join her. I hope you're ready. Truly mastering a hero's skills takes years of practice. Or if you're playing a game, a few seconds. The boy mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years, the guild was his home, his school, and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world Double. outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from I know, I know, but it's the first game table. At last, only the I final a, day of tests remain. Success I think I'm going would mark to the end of his training. Controller with it. He would receive the guild seal the whole, and be free uh, to forge his own destiny. He Con would become Con a hero. I'm not used to it. But if I can get the controller... Before you graduate, there is one final test you must complete. Oh, shit, Enter the guild that. woods and go to the log at the top of the hill. The test will be revealed to you there. Good luck. Good evening. Save the fucking demon. Let's do that. Yeah. Now I'm gonna stop right there because I am sleepy tired because I'm also getting on to work. Because I've my energy. And I'm hungry. So that is what I'm gonna be doing.